today I just want to show you another launcher this one's called blur launcher sorry um, yeah blur launcher so it's made by clinker apps and um, they've also made a uh, toll on for Twitter and evolve SMS and out of the other um, applications those ones are sort of uh, famous so what makes this launcher unique is the fact that it allows applications to take a whole page of your home screen rather than just having widgets and applications so as you can see I've got my app drawer this is something that you can add it comes with that launcher I'll show you how you can add it in a moment so this is a calculator page that comes with the application as well this is called Google um, sorry uh, blur info which is basically like Google now and it has cards etc and for this they'll have APIs as well so uh, developers can create their own cards and here this is Evolve SMS one of the applications that they've also made I installed it just to show you how it would look like so um, likewise um, with other applications they'll have APIs available and developers can basically create a whole page so that's one of the most notable things about this launcher and um, apart from that it's uh, based on Google Now launcher as well so it's basically very nice and fluid and it's got extra customization features so to show you them I'll just quickly run down um, the basic stuff and then go into the more unique things about this launcher so obviously you can change your wallpaper add widgets um, you could also add applications lock desktop just in case you're giving it to a child or something and it changes things around so you can also lock your desktop and of course you can add your um, application just like any other launcher just drag and drop here you got more of the uh, launcher specific um, settings so here you got page picker so here you can choose what page you want to um, what application you want to be displayed on which page so it's pretty straightforward you hit the plus sign and then choose the application that you want so here I've got Tolan for Twitter but because I haven't bought the app um, choosing this will basically display a, a blank page but that's basically how it works it's pretty straightforward then you got card picker so here you can just rearrange it choose which card you want so obviously it's um, I haven't got any other cards to add so it's saying nothing to add you got workspace these are the settings sort of related to the layout of things so here we've got home screen grid pretty straightforward the columns of the application and the row then you got all apps grid you got screen orientation button and gestures I want to show you quickly so here you can choose your gestures and you got button actions so swipe up so that's one thing I really like about this launcher whereas other applications you have to buy the pro version for gestures they've actually included it in the free version double tap so if you double tap it you can choose obviously which settings but this is on default turn off the home screen which I'll uh, show you later I'll show you all the things later that I've implemented that comes um, on default by the way here you've got the visual settings so you can choose your icon pack that's why I really like this launcher um, it's based on Google Now launchers and they've added a lot of features that you would want coming from other applications, other launchers like Nova and Apex launcher. So you got icon scale, you also got scroll effects, so I've got it on stack. You got app style, you got KitKat to choose from and Android L. I left it on default Android L. You got font type, so they've kind of put a lot of thought into it. They haven't just added like random um, r random settings or random customization they actually put some thought to it most of these settings you'd uh, you'd like uh, or you use on other launchers so you could keep your search bar always active and page indicators I like it minimal so I just deactivate them you got doc settings here you could choose how many docs you want and obviously um what's it activate and deactivate it here you got some of the application um, some of the settings or some of the information about the application itself then you've also got experimental settings so you've got the ok google hot word you can enable that or disable that you've got unread badges for that to work you do need to have another application installed you've also got backup and restore and apart from that that's basically it. obviously you can search for pages that developers have made and you could also search for cards as well so i'll just show you the gestures so it's not, now it's just restarting the pages because it thinks i've made some changes so I'll show you that when you double tap the home screen that's one of the gestures that comes with the launcher you can um, lock the screen you've also got the OK Google hot word so I'll just show you now OK Google what's the weather like today so as you can see that worked 
that's about it guys what i like about this launcher is the fact that it's nice and fluid when it does work sometimes it does crash but it's pretty early stages for the launcher and they are quite quick to make um, bug fixes they do update the application frequently and i like the new concept is something that i haven't really experienced in other launchers the fact that you know you can have a whole page dedicated to an application um, obviously that depends on however many applications implement it and they uh, take advantage of this feature but apart from that I really like the launcher do give it a shot it might be your thing if you're using Google now launcher you're probably better off using this anyway because you can add um, icons etc but that's about it guys that's blur launcher do give it a shot I hope you like this video do subscribe if you haven't already I got more videos coming up and I've also done other launchers, you can go check them out, I'll leave the link in the description. And until next time, take care.